Hello guys, Keep on TV. Back for yet another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my match review for the Middlesbrough versus Birmingham City game, which finished 1 1. We threw away yet more points from winning positions. How many points have we thrown away from winning positions? Uh, it's a stage of view. It's the same as the Cardiff game. Couldn't take our chances. But yeah, so getting on to the video. Now, of course, the match was actually last night, but I couldn't do my review because I was too tired last night. And yeah. So getting on to the game now, the lineups, Middleton went 4-3 at the back, they went for 3-4, they went for a 3-4-1-2. Um, so yeah, and they had Patrick Roberts and Fry coming off in the first half due to injury, so that's made two changes um, before half time. We, the lineup we had was a 4-2-3-1, we had Lee Camp in goal, we had Clark Salter, Mark Roberts, Pedersen, Max and Colin, the two holding midfielders were Gary Gard and David Davis, interesting choice from Pet Clotet there. Ivan Tunich and Jude Bennigan were on the bench. We had Magoma, Magoma coming in, we had Bella, and then we had Imrapti, just and then just ahead of Imrapti we had Yukasukovic. Of course, Minos were made four changes, we made three changes. Um, Magoma started, and yeah, Crowley was on the... No, Crowley was on the bench, I mean... Was he on the bench? I don't think he was on the bench. Oh yeah, of course he was on the bench, yeah. So we had Drew Bennigan, Ivan Sunich and Crowley on the bench. It was an interesting team selection for Pekka The plan was to sit back, defend, be solid, hard to break down and nick a goal. It nearly worked until the 81st minute, so getting us the game. Now of course we made it 1-0. Jeremy Bella, again, getting an assist. He cut inside with his left foot, crossed into the box, Zuka Zukovic with his trademark header. Scored his 10th goal of the season to make it 1-0 at the Riverside Stadium. And, you know, before that actually happened, sorry, Lee Camp saved the penalty. I mean, he's come in, since he's come in, I mean, we haven't, haven't, we haven't lost the game. I mean, I knew, we, I was, I was uh, always saying this, that Lee Camp is better than Conor Truman, you know, he's more experienced. I mean, he's had some bad games, Lee Camp, but Conor Truman, I don't think he's ready to make the step up to the first team goalkeeper, to be the first team goalkeeper, to be honest. So, yeah. Lee Camp saved from Paddy McNair before we made it 1-0, sorry. And why is their centre-back taking their penalty? I don't even know, to be honest. But yeah, so we went into the break, half-time, 1-0 up. The second half, you know, Middlesbrough were dominating in terms of possession and shots. But they made it 1-1 in the 81st minute. Uh, uh, across, we failed to deal with it. Across, fizz into the box, and they made it 1-1. Um, disappointing that was, we couldn't hold on. But then in the 89th minute... Crazy scenes at the Riverside Stadium. Like, we scored and then it was disallowed because we didn't get the ball out for an injured player. I think he was unconscious, then there was a massive fight going on. Peckletter was like, you know, getting involved. You know, all the players and the middle of the players were getting involved. Crazy, crazy scenes. I saw a video of it. I was like, what the f what the hell actually happened? But yeah, it's more drop points. Um, it's a point on the road. I guess it's, a, it's an okay point. I mean, it's a point close to safety. That's how I look upon it. And we've got this, you know, it's not a loss. We haven't lost in about four games. So we've got a mini one going. Um, so, yeah, that's been my match review for the game. Um, what's your thoughts? Leave them down below in the comments. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Keep on TV. I'm just disappointed that we, we couldn't hold on to that lead. Um, especially when we made it 2-1 as well and it was disallowed. But it, it just wasn't our day. On to Coventry in the Cup in the fourth round. I'm going to be doing my preview for that Friday. So look out for that. Hopefully we can beat Cardiff and go to the four, uh, fifth round, sorry, and get a big team in the fifth round draw. But anyway, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Keep right on, and I'll see you later.